Stockouts are typically periods of time where you don't have inventory, so you can't make sales, so your adjusted velocity tends to fall lower than it actually should be. So, so stocked can actually now automatically calculate out those stockout periods. You'll notice that on your forecast, there will be uh, gray boxes that will say stockout period on them. Now, if you don't see this, this means that you have an old version of the stockout calculation turned on. To turn on the most recent one, go to settings. Once on the settings page, click on forecast settings and toggle on the new forecast algorithm and click save. Once it's done loading, you can go back to your forecast page to take advantage of these new settings. Now, what's nice is the system will now automatically remove stock out periods from your average calculation. So you can see in this example, there are seven periods selected, but because these two, the seven day and two day are considered stock out periods, you'll see it's only dividing, and this asterisk is appearing here, it's only dividing by five periods instead of the full seven automatically. Now when you start making sales again in the seven and two day, those periods will be included again and the stock out averages will still help keep your total adjusted velocity higher because it's assuming and removing those stock out periods within that full timeline. So for example, let's say in seven days, you finally make a sale and that one sale is during seven days. So instead of dividing by seven days, it will just take that one sale and increase your, your average velocity, which is a good thing because that's what you should be selling. Okay. And so stock does this automatically as long as you have the new algorithm turned on. Uh, what's nice as well is if you expand out the algorithm or the forecast settings, you're going to notice that you're going to see the number of stock out days as well as you're able to, um, in right here you can see there's 190 days, but these 19 days are recent stock out days. Um, they will typically be two different numbers, so it's perfectly fine. But the new and updated algorithm also allows you to customize what you consider a stock out. For example, do you want to consider it a stock out if you have zero inventory and your average velocity falls below 30%? Or maybe it's 10%, 5%, whatever you feel is a good number, you can adjust that percentage. Also, you can toggle off if you want it to be considered a stock out if it just falls below an average or a 30-day average. So let's say your 30-day average to do simple math is you're selling 10 a day. Now, if you fall below 30% of that, now if you are selling you know, below 30% of that average 10 a day, it's going to be considered a stock out. Okay, so let's say you're selling three a day, that's going to be considered a stock out. Even though you have inventory, three a day will be considered a stock out. Maybe that's, you know, you may have actually had it happen because either your account got froze or something else happened where you kept inventory, but your sales dramatically fell. So toggling this on and off is one option that we see users actually interact with when they are higher volume sellers. For example, they're doing 10 or above sales per day. They may toggle off the zero inventory, but if they are doing low volume below 10, typically keeping this zero inventory toggled on is a good setting. Once you have that set, you're also able to scroll to the bottom and save and toggle this on in bulk whether you want that setting of 30% and it being toggled on and off to all products, filtered results, etc. Hopefully the new algorithm helps everybody out and happy forecasting.